I'm Ben Huber, a third year medical student at the Wayne State University School of Medicine in Detroit, and I worked with Dr. Tahir Ali and Dr. Brenda Weingarten from Henry Ford Health to present this interesting case of papillary thyroid carcinoma. For history, a 30-year-old female initially presented with dysphagia over the past three to six months, a sore throat, recent weight gain, and shortness of breath at rest, with no other relevant past medical history. There was no family history of thyroid cancer, although multiple family members had been diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis and have had associated thyroid nodules. The first image is a long-axis ultrasound image with colored Doppler through the right thyroid lobe that demonstrates a 1.8 by 1.3 by 1.5 centimeter hypoechoic solid nodule as denoted by the yellow arrow. The features of the nodule are as follows. The composition is solid, echogenicity is hypoechoic, the shape is taller than wide, the margin is irregular, and the echogenic foci are present. The second image is a transverse grayscale ultrasound image through the right thyroid lobe that demonstrates a 1.8 by 1.3 by 1.5 centimeter hypoechoic solid nodule as denoted by the yellow arrow with the same features as the previous image uh, being that the composition is solid, the echogenicity is hypoechoic, the shape is taller than wide, the margin is irregular, and the echogenic foci are present. The final diagnosis was determined to be papillary thyroid carcinoma, or PTC, based on the punctate echogenic foci and nodal metastases demonstrated on ultrasound imaging, which are often seen in PTC. Additionally, the lymphatic spread demonstrated in this case is characteristic of PTC. The top differential diagnosis was follicular thyroid carcinoma, or FTC. However, the punctate echogenic foci and nodal metastases demonstrated on imaging were more characteristic of PTC rather than FTC. Additionally, FTC spreads hematogenously rather than the lymphatic spread demonstrated in this patient. The take-home messages are, number one, that PTC may present with an asymptomatic non-tender thyroid nodule in a patient with exposure to radiation and or a family history of thyroid cancer. Number two, that the nodule in the present case has a tyroid score of greater than seven, resulting in a TIRADS-5 classification, and thus is highly suspicious of malignancy. And lastly, that PTC is generally diagnosed with fine needle aspiration, followed by histological examination to reveal malignant cells in the thyroid. I just want to thank my mentors, Dr. Ali and Dr. Weingarten, for helping me with this case presentation, and to RSNA Case Collection for the opportunity to present this case. Thank you.